That's strange. Pinky invited me to be a guest on her show, but I don't know where she is. What lady? <gasps> Nato! What day is it? W Wednesday? Oh, by the joy of gummy jelly beans and jingle jangles! Why, it's Sweaters Day Eve! And what holiday is that? Let the Sweaters Day Eve Jolly Jam Jingle tell us! <laughs> For the warm and fuzziest time of year, let's join Hooves and you'll believe in the holiday magic of Sweaters Day Eve. Sweaters Day Eve? Billies and Colts in their Sweaters Day best. Some light up, some are just a best. Really fun sweaters in all shapes and sizes. The merriest sweaters even win some prizes. Ding dong, the Sweaters Day Choir. Mothballs roasting round the Sweaters Day Fire. Let us all sing and toot. The Yarn Sheep King! Yeah! Deck the halls and scatter fresh confetti. Hang streamers made of freshly baked spaghetti. Cotton or wool or poly blend. I wish Sweater's Day Eve would never end. That sounds kind of fun. Who's that rooting through your socks? That's just Sheila, the Sweater's Day Fox. Sly as a clam with her Sweater's Day sack. Leaves a quick gift, then takes it back. Aw, uh oh. Ding dong goes the sweater stay song. Do your own thing, you can't go wrong. Didn't exist until today. And that, my friends, is the sweater stay way. Wait, what? The sweater stay, sweater stay way! way. Hold on, did you make up Sweaters Day Eve? <laughs> yeah, just now. Oh, I get it. Can I add a tradition? Oh, absolutely. To our Sweaters Day Carol, we must append it. Wouldn't be complete without Hit It, Twilight. Family and friends. <laughs> Merry Sweaters Day Eve, every pony. Spend time with your loved ones and keep living that pony life. I love Sweaters Day. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to our Valentine's Day special. Did I say that right? Valentine's Day! Guys, for those of you who live outside of Equestria, Valentine's Day is celebrated in different ways around the world. In the United States, Valentine's Day is the time of year when you declare your love with chocolates and flowers. In China, people celebrate Valentine's Day by visiting the temple of the matchmaker, and some provinces decorate an ox horn for good luck. In Wales, Valentine's Day is called Twin Wins Day, in which humans give each other hand-carved wooden spoons called love spoons. In Brazil, people celebrate Dia dos Namorados, or Lover's Day, a huge festival to celebrate love and friendship in the form of a big party. I love parties! We celebrate something special in Equestria called Hearts and Hooves Day, a day for ponies to show their loved ones how much they mean to each other with cards and gifts. So in honor of Valentine's Day, Dia dos Namorados, and Twin Wins Day, I'm going to make something for a very special Sundummy. It's time for Craft Corner. I need the sign. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm going to craft a personalized card for my Valentine. For this, you'll need a few simple tools. First, you cut a heart shape out of a piece of card, like so. Next, you wrap some lace around the edges like this. Oh, my heart is fluttering already. And now for a personal touch. Add a little embellishment. A dash of sweetness. A pinch of care. A generous helping of sugar. A drop of hot and the final touch of love. Happy 
Happy Valentine's Day, Gummy! Oh, Gummy! Is this gift for me? Oh. <clears throat> My dearest Pink Amina, through the endless march of seasons, not the falling leaves of autumn, what nor the kind star granted that our memory yours. <laughs> Yay! Next, K keep living that body. It's the fashionista, the beautiful artista, Rarity! Thank you for that very lyrical introduction, darling. I'm thrilled to be here. I am too. Now, Rarity has been working on a super secret project. Can you tell us about it, Rarity? As a matter of fact, I can do more than that. I would love to show every pony. Let's take a look. It is the dawn of a new era. I have invented an app that will revolutionize not just my business, but the world. Introducing Rarify. You can plan new designs, help pick fabulous new wardrobes for clients, and do virtual makeovers for any pony. Rarify does it all. Now for my favorite part. Let's give a makeover. First, the eyes. Bigger. And of course, one must have long, lustrous eyelashes to bat one's eyes with. Then, a few hoop embellishments. Perfect. Let's adjust the braid. Oh, Rarity, your mini you look so cute and mini. Let's add a bit of volume to her mane. And voila. New look. She's so precious. I love it. Thank you. I made one for each of us. We look adorable! <laughs> oh, for our next book, why don't we add in a little bit of this? Oh, and some of this? And some of this? Uh, when will every pony be able to use Rarified? Oh, my. As soon as I make it Pinkie Pie proof. <laughs> Good luck with that, Rarity. Stay tuned to see Rarity perform a 20-foot drop into a vat of pudding! Uh, I'm not doing Keep that. living that pony life! <sighs> it's tough when you're stuck inside all day. But there are so many ways to bring home the fun. Create a masterpiece. Practice yoga. Uh, a little help, please. Check in on a loved one. Yummy! My day was really exciting. Well, you were there too, of course, and we did some yoga. And you combed out my mane. I wonder what happened to that brush. We did back flips, and then we did another back flip, and another back flip, and another back flip. Pony, and welcome back to Hello Pinky Pie. This show is all about having fun and answering the hard questions of life. What do sheep count when they can't sleep? If a cow laughed really hard, would milk come out of her nose? And most importantly, how do you know when it's time to tune bagpipes? Tuning. We have a great show today! And now it's time for Gummy's Joke of the Day! <laughs> great one, Gummy! Almost as good as Mud's jokes! And now it's time for some amazing life hacks! With me, teaching you some cool shortcuts on how to do, well, life! <laughs> I are 
are going to show you how to get scratches off a table. You need a bowl of nuts, walnuts. I think it's because they help cover wall scratches. That's why they're called walnuts. <laughs> so they probably work on tables too. Step number one, chew up the walnuts. Step two, spread them out. Step three, use your hooves and stomp them into paste. Oh, and you will need goggles for this part. Step four, take the paste and smoosh it all over the table scratches, like paint. Step five, add some glitter to give the table some pizzazz. Step six, take cover! <coughs> Ooh, sparkly. And for the very last and most funnest of steps, <coughs> Use a super duper big fan to dry the glitter and walnut paste. That was a breeze. Ta -da! See? Now you can't see the scratches. Who knew that walnuts were so magical? How did yours turn out, Gummy? Wow! Way to go, Gummy! It's beautiful! You'll have to show me your secret next time. What does every pony think? How did the table turn out? I think the after table has personality. Stay tuned for our next episode, where Gummy shows us how to make a cupcake catapult! Mm. <laughs> Have a great night, everypony! <laughs> Hello, everypony! And welcome back to Hello, Piggy Pie! The sensationally, educationally, and rotationally most awesomest show but that's just my opinion. We've got an amazing show planned. A very special musical guest has graced us with her pony presence. She's the queen of the beat, giving our ears musical treats. Star of rock and roll, maker of cake casseroles, DJ Palm 3! And she has a new song for us today. Pie. 
just like sweet and wonderful pies, we have a sweet and wonderful friend joining us on our show today. Want to give the audience a hint, Gummy? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, fillies and gentle coats. I give you the princess of friendship, Equestria and Books. The one with the hearts, the smarts, and the belly full of french fries. <laughs> Pony, it's great to be here. I'm excited to be teaching a friendship class for all of you today. <laughs> you aren't teaching a friendship lesson, silly. Oh, what are we doing then? Get ready for Name That Pony Game Show! A game where we test the limits of Twilight's knowledge of the ponies in Equestria. We will show her different pony silhouettes. Twilight has to guess which pony is which. If she gets it wrong, she gets a pie in the face. And pies are delicious. So it's a win-win either way. Wait, what? Let's start the game. Name that pony. Easy. Big Mac. OK, OK. Can you name this one? Trick question. That is not a pony. That is Spike. All right again. OK, this one's tricky. Oh dear, it's either Flim or Flam. I can never remember which one has a mustache. Um, Flam? Oh, I'm sorry. That answer is incorrect. <laughs> Here, have a pie! Try again. Fine, Flim? Oh, I'm sorry. That answer, also incorrect. Here, have another pie! <laughs> Oof, who is it? Tricky. Wait a second. Oh, would you look at the time? That's our show. A huge thank you to Twilight. Put your hooves together for her, everybody. Good night, everybody, and keep living that pony life. Mm. Blueberry. And we're back. Do you like the taste of magic? The aroma of alchemy? The crunchy textures of ethereal forces that defy explanation? Well then, this segment is for you. It's time for Pinky's Potion Challenge! With our guest host, Twilight Sparkle! Hi everyone, let that challenge begin! Pinky, it's not really a challenge. You're just helping me figure out what these different potions are. I never got a chance to label them. And what a challenge it is! Gummy is at the edge of his seat! going to help by drinking them. Are you sure it's a... It's a great idea! What do you think? Should I drink this? Okay, but just a little bit. You don't have to drink the whole thing. Wow! <laughs> You're all so tiny! My voice sounds so awesome! This potion tastes like... chocolate. <sighs> Try this one. Take a break. No time for breaks at the Potion Buffet. There are more to try. I love this challenge. Oh, that tasted like peanut butter. <laughs> it tickles. It tastes like feathers and bubble gum. That tasted like vanilla. <laughs> and popcorn. Um, Twilight? Well. That's the end of Piggy's Potion Challenge. I'm gonna go get her. Gummy, you're in charge. <laughs> Keep living that pony life. Hello, every pony. Welcome to Dance Dance Poopolution. Just kidding. This is my show. Hello. I have a very special guest today, but before I introduce her, we have a fun surprise. Our question of the day. <clears throat> what is the name of the swamp that Apple Bloom goes through to make her pie delivery? 
Oh, I know, I know. Let me think. Swamp sprinkle fire. No, no, no. Hmm. Donut swamp. Oh, that sounds yummy. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? Oh, I have no idea. Now I'm hungry. What's the answer? Flame geyser swamp. Oh, I was so close. But guess what? The best part of the show is happening right now. She comes with Flash, Phillies and Gentle Colt. It's Rainbow Dash! Hi, everypony. It's great to be here. Huge fan of your show. Really? I didn't know you watched. Yeah, I may have glanced at a few. And now it's even more awesome because I'm here. You're welcome, ratings. I have a stupendous and adventurous surprise game for us to play. Are you ready? I was born ready. What do you got? It's time for the Eclair Jenga Challenge! Our goal is to pull out an eclair without knocking down the tower. We take turns. Whoever knocks down the tower loses. But the winner gets to eat all of the eclairs and be declared the most awesome eclair player. Talk about a sweet victory. Let's do this. After you. <gasps> yes, I own this game. Eat it. I just did, and it was delicious. I'm gonna glaze through this challenge. My compliments to the chef, which is me, and I am good. Oh, I want to eat them all. Mm. Mm. Pinkie Pie! They call to me! It's just so good! Pinkie, are you okay? Speak to me! Congratulations, Rainbow Dash! You are the most awesome eclair Jenga player! And these perfect pieces of yum belong to you. Hey, Pinkie! I can't eat all these by myself. Will you eat them with me? That's our show. Give it up for Rainbow Dash and Tony. Stay tuned for our next episode where we play buff ball with pumpkins. It gets very messy. Keep living that pony life. is the queen of fashion, Rarity! Oh, thank you for having me on your show, darling. I love the way your studio is decorated. Thank you. You designed the look. I know, and I did a fantastic job. <laughs> uh, why is your mane so uniquely styled? Because today we're talking about manes. Right, Gummy? My favorite topic. And what better pony to talk about manes than with our very own trendsetter, Rarity. Speaking of trends and manes and me, I have a new style I would love to share. <laughs> and for the final touch, just add a dash of color. A few puffs is enough. I call this color Pie Frost, inspired by your vibrant mane coloring. Oh! So a lot of puff means a lot of color! <coughs> My mane! It's saturated! This will take hours to fix. Rarity, your mane looks amazing! One of your best looks! Really? You don't think it's too much? No, I want to try it. Pinky, darling, your mane is already pink. That doesn't do anything. When we come back, we ask the question, who would Fluttershy be in a wrestling match? Ten bugbear-sized manicores or one manicore-sized bugbear? Stay tuned and keep living that pony life. Welcome back to Hello Pinkie Pie! The 
show that received critical acclaim for our hard-hitting expose, What's That Smell? Uh, you probably don't want to know that. And especially today is an especially special special. Every pony, put your hooves together for the main six as we spread some kindness. Speaking kind words is a great way to make some pony smile. Oh, you are a wonderful dancer. If there's something you appreciate about some pony, why not share it with them and brighten their day? Another way to show some pony you care is with your actions. If you see somebody having a hard time, be a friend and lend an ear. That's right. Listening when some pony needs to talk is a great way to show your support. Like Gummy here. Gummy is such a great listener. Right, Gummy? Wow! So many ways to show kindness. Let's see it in action. Let's, Let's show, show some kindness! Oh, you're such a hard worker. You always give everything your all. You're a great older sister. Your passion inspires me to be better. You're brave. You're confident. You always try to do the right thing. You're fast. You're Honest! I know you've been busy working, so I brought you some food, and I'm here to help you with anything you need. You mentioned that you've been feeling stressed, so I planned a spa day to help you relax. Oh, Gummy, I'd really like to share something with you that's been bothering me. Uh, Gummy, you wouldn't believe what happened to my hair. They did a simply awful job. No. It was a mess. I took a book it out of the so library, and it wasn't so even there when I went to pick it up. Oh, those cupcakes look so good, but they just needed more little gummy. They forgot me in the game. I can't believe they didn't make me get right into the pack. Oh, and don't forget to also listen to the listener. Great galloping gumballs! That's a lot of ways to show kindness. How do you show kindness? Do you try to cheer your friends up when they feel down? Do you lend a helping who? Do you tell them how much you appreciate and love them? And don't forget to be kind to yourself. You are wonderful, and you should tell yourself kind words every day. Oh, and one more thing. Keep living that pony life, huh? Welcome back to our show, where anything crazy creative or confetti related can happen. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce Fluttershy's Critter Corner. I'm so excited to talk about all my little friends today. Oh my, I forgot their snacks backstage. Can you watch them for a moment? <gasps> sure. Take your time. Just a live show, no big deal or anything. So, are you fans of the show? <laughs> no. Oh no, the birdies. You can't build a nest there. Oh no! The bunnies! Get away from that camera! <laughs> oh no! The puppies! It's not time for the bass to drop! Oh no! The gummy! You're doing great. Keep up the good work. Oh dear! Oh, uh, hey, Fluttershy. Uh, things are fine. Everything is under control. Animal friends, assemble. assemble. <clears throat> and then, oh, and could you guys? They're nice critters, really. They just need a little direction. And they may need a little bit more practice. We're gonna take a short break. Stay tuned for more awesome and totally organized <laughs> animal antics. Keep living that pony life. 